Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green. We are the Swindon Town Swoodly Poopers. And today we are taking on some team in the Europa League. The same people we were playing last time. Aren't they f I think they're from Turkey, Stan. Is that correct? Yeah, anyway. With the, we've got a... The, oh yeah, Stan told me last time that in addition to having a famous soccer club, they have a beloved table tennis team. Um, so maybe that'll be the next sport that I play on Hank Games Without Hank. So today I'm going to talk to you about resident mathematician Daniel Biss and how I came to be friends with the mathematician, even though I am myself famously not a mathematician. Um, but first let me bring you up to date on the situation in which the Swoodly Poopers find ourselves. We've played four games in five days, and we were tired when we started that uh, situation. I uh, I didn't record the last game that I played, but it was funny because I put both Ricardo Bunsen Berna and Fat Lucas in the uh, field so that I could have other John Green as goalie so he could rest. And I tried to rest as many people as possible, um, but still the Swoodly Poopers are absolutely unprecedentedly exhausted. We have very few players who are in green, almost all of them in at least yellow, and several of them in red. We have to win this game. Um, is, what? How is that a foul? I, do I, w did I, was French the l -l 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 Lana called for being handsome? Presumably? Go. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Go! Go, John, other John Green. Oh, we, so we have to win this game. If we win 1-0, I believe um, it goes to extra time. So we really, ultimately, we have to score two goals. Which, if you know anything about... Oh, the Swoodly Poopers this season, you'll know that scoring two goals, while not a total impossibility, certainly not a statistical likelihood. Um, so that's the situation in which the Swoodly Poopers find themselves. So, uh, as for my friend Daniel Biss, um, my, my, my friend... So, for those of you who don't know, Daniel Biss uh, was a mathematician at the University of Chicago, and in 2007, the Vlog Brothers frequently referred to him as our resident mathematician. We would call him whenever we had need of a mathematician. And then, um, Daniel Biss decided to abandon his very cushy job at the University of Chicago um, in order to become, of all things, a politician because he felt that there were not, not enough politicians in elected office. And really, who can, I, had, I had him, I just needed to pass. I, what I needed to do is just watch for the runs, play smart, be the, be the man I know I can be. And, and that's what I said to all the players out in the tunnel right before the game started. I said, listen, guys, we're tired. We've had a very, very long season. We've found ourselves in the quarterfinals of the Europa League and in the finals of the FA Cup. Of course we're tired, you know? But we have an extraordinary opportunity. And the one thing that you can't buy and that you can't, the one thing that, that, that nobody can, oh, 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 he had a bad first touch. Um, the, one thing that, the one thing that they can't take away from you, they can take away your speed and your, and your skill and your, your fatigue levels. They can do all that, but they can't take away your heart. That's what I told him. Look at one size fits all. Always there. A stalwart in the middle, even when he's tired. He doesn't care. Leroy Williamson, still being Leroy Williamson in spite of everything. Oh, yeah, let's take it back for the foul, please. Thank you. Um, so anyway, Daniel Biss and I met because we had a mutual friend. Daniel's best friend in high school was my best friend in college. And so that was our initial connection. Um, then we, one size fits all, come up, we've got a corner. Then, uh, so we went, I remember it was weird, it was like a very bromancy kind of thing. We went to a bar, one size fits all, goal! One size fits all! He's big, he's small, he's also short and tall. One size fits all, one size fits all. He's big, he's small, he's also short and tall. One size fits all, one size fits all! Ah, oh, 28th minute. Goal from the Swoodly Poopers. Now we just need one more, and we're going to the semifinals, or possibly the finals of the Europa League. I can't remember how far we've made it so far. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Now I'm fired up. Okay, Daniel Biss um, and I... So that's how we became friends, was we went to this bar, and we played... I remember we played pool, and Daniel is one of those people who is not, like, technically very uh, athletically talented, but because he's very good at geometry, he's reasonably good at... Oh, great tackle there from Hamill. He's reasonably good at, uh, at pool. Um... So, so yeah, we played pool and uh, it was pretty fun. I think I think he beat us. Um, he, my, me, and my friend Will. And uh, then 
Daniel, um, and then we could just kind of stayed in touch mostly over email. Um, but we'd see each other occasionally. He'd invite me to like the occasional mathematician party, which, you know, if you've ever partied, you ever think you've partied and you've never partied with mathematicians, then believe me, you haven't partied, friend. They just, they, they do it, they do it differently in the world of higher mathematics. Um, and at the time, Daniel had this girlfriend who was also a mathematician. Um, he's now married to a completely different person. Um, and his, his mathematician, but his mathematician girlfriend, while not like, I don't think a particularly good girlfriend, was truly fas a fascinating character. Um, what? 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 Belated yellow card for handsomeness? Disagree. What? Where's the yellow card? That is a yellow card? I'm sorry, I don't, I still don't see what he did. Was it the, was it the part where he, where French the Lana was, as usual, extremely good looking? Because that's not, it was never out of bounds. Oh, schmoogaboog. We are up 1-0. We just really, we need a second goal here, guys. We need a second goal. Oh, and we can't give up a goal under any circumstances because of the away goals rule. Um, so the one thing that we can't do is, is give up a goal uh, because we don't have any away goals, and if they get one, then that's, that's very bad for us. Like, we, we lose, basically. So we got to win. We got to win, and we got to not give up any goals. Like, for instance, there. Um, so we began communicating back and forth. This was, you know, long before Looking for Alaska was ever published. Um, but we began communicating back and forth and talking about um, books that we liked. And, um, you know, Daniel had all these interesting thoughts about contemporary poetry and the sort of the mathematics of it. I think because Daniel comes from a musician background, his brother is a famous concert pianist. And um, his brother is a resident pianist, Jonathan Biss. Um, uh, but because of that, because, look, look, can we watch this goal from One Size Fits Hall? I mean, he's just, he has been the Swoodley Pooper star this year because he's big, but he's also small. He's just so versatile. Oh, great goal from One Size Fits Hall. He just, just slams it in the back of the net. All right. Okay, so it definitely is, this is the, the semifinals. If we win this, we get to go to the finals of the Europa Cup uh, where we looks like we're going to play Bayern Le Leverkusen. Pretty, pretty good club. So... This is it. We just, we got to not give up a goal and score one goal in the second half. That's, that's, it's a pretty straightforward thing that we're trying to do here. Um, we got to, we just got to, we got to win, we got to win the second half by the same score we won the first half. One nil. All right. So Daniel, um, we, 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 we stayed kind of casual friends. Um, and then when I finished looking for Alaska, he read it and uh, liked it a lot. It was very, j just very supportive of it. Um, in general, and I was already starting to think about the book that would become an abundance of Catherine's, um, which is my second novel about a, a child prodigy who's very good at math, but not the kind of math that, that Daniel was good at, very good at a different kind of math. I should add, by the way, that like a lot of people, I've always enjoyed friendships with people who are very talented at things that I'm not good at, but find interesting. Um, you know, I like to be, uh, to be around P talented people who are who are ambitious and, and hardworking and devoted to whatever it is that they're devoted to, whether it's uh, you know math or uh, I don't know copyright law, whatever it is. Um, and um, and so I think I think that was a lot of our early friendship was me just being impressed with him as a person. But he also turns out to be just a really loyal, generous, funny, um, kind friend. And so that became uh, more and more you know our friendship just became less about his talent or whatever and more about just you know liking him because he's a nice guy get it get it get it get it pass wide then up yes yes nice no oh, you headed it in the wrong direction french the lana french the lana is not a, not a big man might want to put one size fits all up there in that spot because that guy can head the crap out of the ball i don't care if he is a central defender mm, boy they're starting to move um, so when I, when I started writing An Abundance of Catherine's in earnest, I started to talk to Daniel about it because I knew, he, you know, he, he wasn't a child prodigy or anything, but he certainly had experience with being very good at math at a very young age. You know, he graduated from, I think he got his PhD from Harvard when he was like 21 or 22. So, I mean, he was, you know, far ahead of where most of us are in terms of academic development. Um, but I knew from, you know, I, I'd read enough about, yes, thank you, Ricardo Bunsen Burner. That was a first degree burner, but a vital one. Um, I knew a lot about, you know, a, a fair amount about child. Great tackle by one size fits all. Yeah, we just got to get it up there. I mean, this is, this is nervous. This is nervous stuff here. 
Bear in mind that if we don't score, we will, we will be going to extra time um, when I will completely stop talking about, about Daniel Biss. So anyway, um, Daniel, in, in 2004 and 2005, when I was really working in earnest on... Uh, oh, we just lost. Because of Centurk, Centurk. Dang it. Dang it. Oh, there's just, you know... We're a good team. But as you can see, we are an exhausted team. We've got nothing. Mmm. This is painful. This is painful to see. Just, that's an awful... Look at that. That's just horrible. You never... You never want to see this. It's just, mm. So at this point, we'd have to score. We'd have to win 3-1 in order to win. Um, and we have 17 minutes to score. That would basically be, uh, we haven't scored three goals all season. So that would be definitely un unprecedented in the history of, um, of the Swoodley Poopers. Do I believe that we can do it? Uh, it just so happens that I do. Because I'm a believer. I always. Okay, we got a corner. One size fits all. One size fits all. Come on, baby. Come on up. I know you guys are tired. You ready? You ready, Fitz? It's coming in from Leroy Williamson. What's this? It's, oh, he missed the goal! Oh! Oh, all our dreams are dead, as cute with Chris used to say. Um, you know what? We still, have, we still have the FA Cup, and I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to rest everyone, everyone, for our last, uh, so, that, so that we are ready for the FA Cup final. Um, because it's become clear that that's the only way we're going to salvage our season because we are not going to win the Europa League. Um, here we are in the 80th minute and um, 82nd minute, and we just, it doesn't look like we, we've got it today, guys. It just doesn't look like we're going to get it. Um, heroic performance by the Swoodoo Poopers. Great early goal from one size fits all, but just couldn't do it. So anyway, Daniel, Daniel's friendship um, with... Our friendship really uh, culminated in this big, the great, the great relationship that we got to have while working on an abundance of Catherine's together because he wrote so much of the math and was such a big part of, um, of the story in general and, you know, read, read every draft of it and um, helped with it so much. Um, and then he, when, he, when he decided to run for office, uh, you know, Nerd Fighteria was such a big part of that um, of supporting him in his first in his first run, which he lost, and then also in his second run, which he won, and then now he's running for um, state senate, the position that Barack Obama held, you know, before becoming president. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then I think you know, like he's 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 become a very like promising politician, um, which doesn't surprise me at all because he's such a talented guy. So we hold the Swoodley Poopers hold. Fenerbahce to a 1-1 draw, but we still have to smell our pits in shame because we have lost the home and away, which means that Fenerbahce, congratulations, are going to the Europa Cup final. We are going home to rest our tired, tired bones. Best wishes.